In this video, I'm sharing 10 cake decorating words you should know. Watch until the end and let me know in the comments how many you already knew. Let's start with the basics. This is a cake layer. A layer of cake is the result of baking the batter in a cake pan. It's the main component of a cake when it's stacked together like this. A layer of cake is not to be confused with a tier of cake. This cake has two tiers. A cake tier is made up of layers of cake stacked together, then usually arranged from the smallest on the top to the largest on the bottom. This cake is a three tier cake composed of a six inch tier, eight inch tier, and 10 inch tier, with each tier containing three layers of cake. In most cases, you'll need to level your cake layers. This is the process of removing the dome from the cake layer and creating a flat surface for stacking. This can be done with a leveling tool or with a serrated bread knife. Start the process of icing or frosting your cake with a crumb coat. This is a very thin layer of icing that is applied to the cake to trap crumbs from getting into your final layer of icing. A crumb coat is so thin that you can actually see your cake through the icing. Be sure to apply a crumb coat before you start to frost or ice your cake. The terms ice and frost are used interchangeably in the US. However, the term frost is used most often globally. This is the process of covering a cake with buttercream, whipped icing, or ganache. This is usually done with a spatula. Also used interchangeably are decorating tips and decorating nozzles. These come in many different shapes and sizes and are usually made of plastic or stainless steel. These decorating tips are used to create very unique decorations with icing or ganache. We'll cover that in just a bit. A coupler is a tool that's applied to a decorating bag like this. The advantage to using a coupler is that it allows one to easily switch decorating tips without having to create a new bag. This saves us some time in the long run. Tips, nozzles, and couplers work together so that you're able to pipe decorations like this. Piping is the process of using pressure to push icing out of a decorating bag to create unique cake decorations. Piping is a skill that requires practice holding a decorating bag at the proper angle to achieve the desired look. Cakes can also be decorated with a comb, like the one shown here. These are typically used along the side of a cake to create ridges. Square cut combs are very useful in creating buttercream stripes like this. Now, what would you call this material? I live in the Midwest of the US, so I call this fondant. Not to be confused with fondue, which is a totally unrelated thing. Or you can call it fondant. Like one of my favorite cake artists, the cake boss, Buddy Velastro. Fondant? Or fondant is a thick paste that is made of sugar, water, flavorings, and color. It can be used to cover a cake, to create decorations like this, or cake toppers. You can also use it by applying simple fondant decorations to a buttercream cake like this one. Today's question, how many of these cake decorating terms did you already know? Put your answer in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more cake decorating tips and tutorials. A very special thank you to all of my channel members and for you, thanks for watching.